Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you guys are new here, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a tag that I saw Samantha March do on her channel. It's about brands that I would like to try in the year that's coming, which is 2019. And I believe she called it 9 brands in 2019 or something like that. So basically I'm going to be talking about brands that I haven't tried. Or maybe I just tried like one thing from it and like that's it. So if you guys would like to hear those nine brands that I would want to try in 2019, then just go ahead and keep watching. And also guys, if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. It really does help me a lot. And I know that I haven't really uploaded like in a few weeks, but uh yeah, I just been I just been like a little busy with my kids and I haven't really had the chance to uh really upload anything. But I really want to try and get back to like uploading here on YouTube. I know I don't have like a million subscribers or anything like that. But I still like to upload the videos because I enjoy making them. And well, maybe one day I'll have a million subscribers. Who knows? But uh, yeah, just go ahead and keep watching this video if you guys would like to hear those 9 brands that I would like to try in 2019. Okay, the first brand that I really want to try is Beauty Bakery. Beauty Baker is a brand that I have never tried and, and ever since I saw the brand, I thought that the packaging was super cute for all, all their stuff and I hear people talking about their brand and I hear saying like good things about them. Like I know they have a foundation, they have a powder, they have lipsticks, eyeshadows and they have like a lot of stuff and I just never had the chance to try anything from them. Mainly because they weren't sold like in Ulta or Sephora. That's mainly where I buy like all my makeup because it's easier and if I buy it on Ulta like I get points. But now I know that Beauty Bakery is sold at Ulta. I would really want to try something from their brand and I would like to do like a... I would like to do like a full face of Beauty Bakery but I'm not sure if I'm gonna have like uh, all the stuff to do like a full face. If not... I'll just do like the, if not, I'll just try whatever I get from their brand. Okay, the second brand that I would like to try is Flower Beauty. And I have like, I have tried their setting spray and I don't really remember how I feel about it. I still have it in my collection. It's just like all the way to the bottom. I hear a lot of people saying like really good things about Flower Beauty. I know that Flower Beauty is a drugstore brand. But to be honest, I just feel like the prices are a little bit, um... Uh, I feel like their stuff is a little bit more expensive than like the normal drugstore but I guess like all the drugstore makeup is like now kind of expensive so yeah that's a that's a brand that I really want to try. I hear really good things about their eyeshadows and one of their highlights like I, I think it has like three highlights and I hear people saying like really good things about it and just um, I know they have some other stuff that people really uh, like. So that's the brand that I really want to try in 2019. The third brand that I would like to try is KKW. I know that a lot of people buy her stuff because they love her. And I'm, I'm going to be honest, I don't really know anything about her. Like I know she has a big booty and that's about it. But I know her brand is a little bit new. And then at first I didn't hear any good reviews from her products. But now that she's coming out with more items, I hear people talking about them like a little bit more. And I, I don't know, I just want to try her brands, mainly their eyeshadows, because I want to see if it's like the same thing as the Kylie Cosmetics um, eyeshadow palette. Because I have like two Kylie Cosmetics eyeshadow palettes and one of them, it's not my favorite, so I don't know if her eyeshadows would be like the same as Kylie's or not. But uh, yeah, KKW is a brand that I want to try in 2019, and hopefully I can uh, at least try out an eyeshadow palette. The fourth brand that I would like to try is It Cosmetics. I know that I tried like an eyebrow pencil from them and I don't think I tried anything else from them. Recently I was looking at some of their stuff. They have like skincare items and they have like good reviews about them. And I would really like to try them out just because I do need to start taking better care of my skin. I want to try out at least, maybe not their makeup, but I do want to try out like some of their creams like uh more like skincare items some of their products are a little bit more expensive than i would like them to be but i know that if they work then i guess they are worth the money but yeah maybe i'll start with trying out samples and then if i like them then i'll buy like the full size but uh yeah i want to try it cosmetics just because i want to try one thing from them and i want to try more from them <laughs> okay i know that this might be uh kind of weird but 
A brand from the drugstore that I haven't tried is Milani. And I really want to try them out just because I hear people saying good things about them. Like especially those uh, newer eyeshadow palettes that they have. I'm not sure about their names. I think they have like three or four something like that. And I hear people saying like really good things about them. And they're only like $15 but I don't know why. But every time I go to like Walmart and if I go into their makeup section... I always want to buy one and they're $15 which is not a lot like compared to some of the higher end brands but I don't know why like maybe it's just because it's the drugstore I don't know I feel like it's a little bit expensive so I never end up getting like anything from them the only thing that I've tried from them is their eyebrow pomade I used to use that before I started doing like my red eyebrows uh, I really want to try their lipsticks or eyeshadows like I want to try out the brand I've only tried one thing from them and I used to like it. I just need to get better with buying like drugstore makeup. So that's why I have like a lot of like more affordable makeup brands here on the list of my brands I want to try in 2019. Makeup Revolution. I have not tried anything from Makeup Revolution or at least I don't think I've tried anything from them. A lot of the things that I hear from Makeup Revolution is that they are super affordable which yes if I look at their prices yeah everything is like super affordable. But like I said, I just never got into buying like more drugstore makeup. But uh, yeah, I want to try Makeup Revolution because they're affordable and I hear really good things about them. And I've never tried nothing from them. Okay, Sleek Makeup is another brand that I've never tried. And I know that when I first heard about them, it was about one of their uh, highlights. I'll put a picture for you guys just so you guys know what I'm talking about. But like a lot of like the bigger influencers were talking about how good their highlight was and everything. But then like after a little bit, I didn't hear anyone talking about them anymore. So I was looking online at Ulta. They have some eyeshadow palettes that look really pretty and some of them don't have like, some of them don't have any reviews and some of them have like an okay reviews. But I want to try out their eyeshadows and I don't really hear anyone talking about them. So I would like to talk about them just because uh, if they're good, then they're only like $10 or something. I think that Sleek Makeup is not a brand from the US, but they're sold at Ulta. Okay, we're almost out here. I just have two more brands. Okay, brand number eight that I would like to try is a newer brand. It's, it's from a YouTuber and it's Dominique Cosmetics. And I know that she has uh, like three eyeshadow palettes and then she has like some lipsticks or lip gloss or something. I hear people saying really good things about her Latte palette, which is like, uh, I'll have a picture for you guys here. And I really want to try out that eyeshadow palette. That's like the main thing that I would like to try. I would like to try out like all her stuff. But uh, if I'm being honest, I'm not sure if I'm going to have the money to be able to afford everything from the brand. So I would like to, I would like to at least try out one of her eyeshadow palettes. Just because I hear people saying really good things about them. And also I think that they look super pretty. So uh, yeah, I want to try Dominique Cosmetics in 2019. Hopefully I can do it. Okay, the last brand that I would like to try is one that it's a little bit more expensive. At least for me because I'm broke. And this one is Hourglass. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to be able to afford anything from them. I know that Hourglass has really good makeup. And people say like really good things about them. If I try anything from them, I would like to try out first their powder and their foundation. Because um, their highlights and other stuff, they're like $80, which I don't have $80 to spend on a makeup item. So that's like one that I'm not too sure if I'll be able to try out in 2019. But like Samantha March said, it's a tag, it's a challenge. So I'm going to see if I can actually try out their makeup items. I really hope I can because I hear, like I said, I hear really good things about the brand. And... They're expensive, but people say that they're worth it, so I would like to try it out. I'm broke, but I still like to try out good makeup. <laughs> okay, guys, so those were the nine brands that I want to try in 2019. And I'm honestly not sure if I'll be able to try them out or not. But I'm hoping that I can at least try uh, at least one, one or two items from the brands. And I'll keep you guys updated if I do buy anything from the brand and, and also I would really like to keep uploading more videos. I know that like I said I don't have a lot of uh, views. I don't get a lot of I don't get too many views on my videos and that's the reason why I, sometimes I don't want to upload videos to be honest because I feel like okay no one's gonna watch my videos. I'm just gonna be like sitting there and no one's gonna watch me but just I like I like doing the videos so 
I think that I'm gonna keep uploading even if people don't watch me. I'll see you guys on my next video and hope you guys have a wonderful day or night wherever you guys are.